Uh, Coach, just an opening statement on today's game and what it meant for you these first uh, 14 games of the schedule as you head into the new phase of the season. I'm proud of our guys. Uh, they competed. I mean, from day one, uh, training camp uh, until today, guys stayed locked in. And um, that's why we ended up getting the win today, uh, just because guys stayed prepared. Um, Marcus having 12 rebounds, Trey having 13, Nick's having 10. You know, guys that were playing minimal minutes early on, you know, stepping up and playing big minutes for us and getting this win. Um, I'm just proud of them, but they stayed ready. Um, I'm proud of our guys, and I told them we won the first half of the season. It was a successful first half. Now everyone's back at OO, and we got to get ready for the second half of the season. Do you have another one? You can go there. I'll defer to Alfredo, and then I'll I'll get back again. Coach, uh, how would you uh, assess the team and their overall performance in this uh, NBA G League showcase? Hard fall. I think our guys fought hard um, against OKC, uh, against the Celtics here. Um, consistently, our guys battled. Um, everybody that started, everybody that came off the bench, they competed. Uh, Coach, for a player like Marcus Foster, who wasn't getting uh, as many minutes as some of the other guys, and today's work uh, showed off for it, uh, how does how, how do you just keep uh, players like Foster sharp for this next phase of the season? Um, he, he's a pro. I mean, you know, he, he's been a professional for a number of years now. Um, he takes care of his body. Uh, he gets in extra work every single day. And all the guys do, uh, right? And, you know, like I said, that's why we've been successful this season. Um, the guys take care of their bodies. Uh, they know what it takes uh, to be a professional. They know what it takes to get better as an individual. And if they do that and get better individually, we'll get better as a team. And, they, and they've all done it. That's like I said, that's why we're, we're 11 or 10 and 4. Um, we've had a good first half of the season. Coach, obviously, um, within – this new realm of um, of basketball and the fact that you know uh, the the NBA is calling up more people from the G League, more players in the G League. Obviously, as a coach, you're kind of proud, you know, of seeing your players kind of develop and going and growing on their own to the fact that they're getting opportunities like these. Um, as of how it's currently being formatted in the way that um, the players are getting this opportunity. How do you feel? Obviously, it could affect the way that you kind of uh, structure things as a coach, but seeing just players getting more opportunities or getting that chance of getting that call up, how do you feel regarding how the NBA is kind of working that out? You know, you have to do what you have to do. Uh, obviously, this is uh, uncharted waters. I mean, you know, uh, nobody expected this to happen um, as bad as it is, but, you know, we just got to make sure everybody's healthy and um, if there are opportunities, you know, go ahead and do it. I'm just glad for all these guys getting called up from the G League. You know, some guys that might not get the opportunity uh, are getting the opportunity. Um, it's it's a gift. It's just a gift. And I hope our guys get call-ups uh, and we'll deal with it. Um, if we lose two, three, four more guys to call-ups, we'll figure it out. As long as they can do that, get their paycheck, take care of their family, um, that's most important. Coach, the last one from me, you know, the, this is a, a kind of a new format. What do you make the, uh, of this new format? And as a coach, just uh, how do you just continue to prepare to be uh, success, successful and try to put yourself uh, in, a be in a better position than what you were the day before? Um, you know, you just take it game by game, right? Uh, first half of the season, obviously, we had a lot – uh, a lot more breaks uh, in between games. Uh, there's a stretch where we had nine days off. We had six days off. Uh, the longest break that we'll have off in the second part of the season is five days. Um, and that's only one time. But primarily, the majority of our games will either be every other day or max two days in between. So it, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing, uh, make sure the guys are taking care of their bodies, our support staff, Craig Skinner and Christian Vasquez, Manny Hernandez, um, you know, helping the guys, making sure with the treatment, uh, their weightlifting, making sure they're healthy. They've done a heck of a job. So it's a, 
it's a combined, you know, uh, it's a combined effort from everybody on board. And so we'll be, we'll be ready. Any more questions for coach? Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Alfredo. Happy holidays. Feliz Navidad. Gracias, coach. Salam Safe travels. Thank you. Marcus, uh, congratulations on the big game. This is Ray from South Texas Border Sports. I've got to ask you, you know, what, what's what been the mentality mentality like for you? Uh, just trying, trying to stay patient, trying to stay sharp for an opportunity like this. Um, you know, just for me, just trying to stay ready and figure things out. You know, I didn't start the season how I would like to. And, you know, this last couple of games, I've really just been more patient and taking my time and not forcing the issue too much and just trying to be there and help my teammates. Alfredo? Marcus, you mentioned, obviously, uh, within a, an interview with NBA TV after after the game that, you know, these opportunities uh, – kind of just take advantage of, obviously, because of the reason how the NBA is kind of seeing uh, a lot of uh, players getting that COVID protocol that, you know, more players are getting the call up at the NBA, uh, the, the NBA G League to the NBA uh, level. So in regards to these opportunities, like how do you approach it as a player? The fact that, you know, there's scouts looking at you to the fact, okay, we might call you up just in case we need you. Um, yeah, you know, it's a crazy situation right now, but you just got to stay ready. You know, in my mindset right now, I know they're looking at guys to see who's ready and who will be able to help a team because just like in the NBA right now, people are going down and the next person has to step up. So situation like today, people are out. You know, you got to just come in and be effective. And in my mindset, I knew we were a smaller team today. So I was just trying to be more aggressive and rebounding and playing tough defense. Great. Uh, you guys were able to play a, a lot more of a smoother defense than the opening uh, game of this showcase. What do you think uh, changed from uh, the previous game to today's game where uh, you guys were able to uh, punish Maine for some of those mistakes that they've uh, committed, especially on the offensive front where you guys were able to get uh, a lot of transition baskets uh, off those turnovers you guys created? Um, I think for us, it was just watching the second half of the OKC Blue game. If you watch the game, the first half was not like how we played tonight. The second half was how we played tonight. So we just wanted to clean up the mistakes from last game and pick up the energy and help each other. You know, each player help each other and, you know, pick each other up on each possession. Alfredo, if you have another one, you can go. Yeah, Marcus, one last thing. In regards to, obviously, your assessment um, in the participation in this winter showcase, something that could uh, kind of be implemented. Uh, maybe you guys uh, learned something new about yourselves, about the team, maybe about yourself regarding about this showcase that could later be implemented on uh, the rest of the road. Um, I would say individually, just, you know, doing everything uh, besides scoring, you know, sometimes people let their scoring dictate the game and, you know, it's all about, you know, playing through that stuff. Maybe you're not scoring, but you got to be effective in another way. And I think team wise, I think with the guys we're playing right now, it's a lot of guys that didn't play early on in the season. And I think now with more games and more reps, people are starting to figure it out. So, you know, it's a, it's a long grind, but I think if you just stay with it and be patient, everything will work out for you. Any more questions? 